second on the 25th. Dr. Lee is here. We're going to try to continue the conversation that we started yesterday about free radicals. So when you sent me the information that we talked about for preventing cancer, and I was reading it, we talk, it talked about cruciferous vegetables. Yes. It goes back into this whole plant-based idea, but you can also help with acupuncture. Yes. Increase what we need to increase to decrease the inflammation. Uh, the cancer rate goes up, has many, many factors, the p pollution, you know, the um, chemicals and create this estrogen dominance condition. So those chemicals mimic the estrogen fu uh, effect, stimulate the cells. So estrogen is a hormone that stimulate for women, the uterus and breast cell to grow. And for men, men also has estrogen, so it stimulates the prostate. And so if you have too much estrogen or um, zynostrogen, which uh, come from the chemicals. My what? Zynostrogen. What is that? That's like a similar bad effect as estrogen, but it's not really estrogen. It's a chemical combining with estrogen receptor. In your body? Yes, so that's why we try to avoid uh, using like a plastic uh, container or pesticide. Those things all can have the estrogen bad effect. So estrogen has a good effect. It help you make your brain sh very sharp and you have enhanced the connection between the cells. But estrogen also can stimulate the cell growth. And so if this cell growth is out of control, then it would be cancer, right? So back to the, you, you're talking about the- The, the radicals? The, uh, yeah, free the radical. free radicals. Because free radicals can, every time you eat something and have them metabolize, uh, your body will create a free radical. It's a normal process. But we have to clear up these free radicals and how we can clear up these free radicals. So using the plant-based diet and uh, cruciferous vegetables. What's kale, a cruciferous? What is that? Cruciferous vegetables <laughs> include. What the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> the things that, that you love. <laughs> you include cabbage, Ugh. kale, Ugh. radish, Ugh. Uh, broccoli, Brussels sprout, mm. cauliflower. Mm. Yeah, all of this has a special smell when you cook that. It's the sulfur. And those cruciferous vegetables has a chemical called I3, um, I3C, which is um, a chemical helping your body to clear up the, the chemicals causing the, the cancer. So, so is it the sulfur? Uh, not the sulfur, this IC3, indo 3 carbonyl. And this components, they already took it out from the cruciferous vegetables and making tablet supplement. And when you use this, you give the animals, you, you expose the animals to uh, chemicals and then they will develop breast cancer. And if you give this IC3 from cruciferous vegetables, and then the cancer rate development will decrease 50, more than 50%. So for the human being, I recommend eating as much cruciferous vegetables as you can.